What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be on Bleach Brave Souls. Today we're checking out nothing really. We're doing a tutorial guys. So I'm gonna show you how to, how to make orbs on the channel right here, right now. First off, you can get orbs from story mode, you can get orbs from subquests, but you're gonna get two orbs per each one of these and I can show you why we're making those. So when I come back, I'm gonna show you pop the orbs popping up on the screen guys. Right here guys, when we clear the quest, you saw the one orb pop up, that was one orb, and for this one, you get, oh, you get an orb for each one of these, okay. Alright guys, next we're going to be showing for subquests, so I'll meet you in there when we finish one of our subquest story modes, story quests to actually show guys that we're getting orbs from here. All right guys, this is the quest clear screen for subquest here. You saw we got the one orb, one orb there, one orb there, that's four orbs guys. Five orbs with this mission complete too, I think. So we can see that on the way out guys. You also do get uh, soul tickets and characters from this so it's really something you want to do it helps you get more energy so you can play the game more so you don't need to give it energy so quest here and there so that you can get more rewards so let's go back to the home page real quick we're at 90 right now so if you're doing these guys you're getting five for each one of these quests that you're finishing three starring it out as well so yeah Next one we're going to be looking at is going to be uh, orders. So we do get orders from our orders. And you want to be looking at your events tab because you also get stuff from your events. So right now, 80 million downloads. When we pitch that, I'm getting 10. So I'm, I'm only 9 in progress. So I got 9 more of these quests to do. And I get those 10 orbs. But we, in those quests, you're also going to be getting like hearts and accessories and you know whatever whatever else stuff is going to be giving you so these are good to look at and see that if you need to be doing them or not so yeah you want to be looking at these and checking these out when you when you can't, don't remember what you need to be doing or you don't know what event is going on just go ahead and check those out and the free one right here i'm getting for arena i'm getting five orbs right here let's go and collect those that's another five orbs from drunk orders in arena so if you want to be an order for arena, you can get them. Side story, that's 10 orbs if I finish the second part on heart for the Zumpak Toe alternate story. So those are just orbs just sitting on the account, guys. Wait for you to be doing them. Log in. I log in 60 days. I'm getting 30 orbs. I'm on 53. So I've been I log in 53 days. It doesn't, it's not a a chain so you can skip days still here and there so it's not saying you got all 60 days in a row it's 53 days after 53 days you get orbs so you just know that you can get orbs after that amount and for your weeklies it's mostly stuff like that so you don't have to worry about weeklies but i would check it out here and there you do get the soul tickets the co-ops and you get brave battle medals which are important um Daily orders, I just finished those. I'm getting five orders right here. Collect those. I finished those. We good. So those are things you always can get orders on each day. Dailies, you get five to ten orders on. Maybe more depending on which you got available to you. Um, that's going to be something you're going to be looking at. Epic Raids and Co-op, you're going to get some orders from those too. Depending on the people that you're playing with, rather than new people or not. If they're not new people, most time you don't get orbs. Sometimes you do. It just depends. Senkaima. Let's go to Senkaima here, guys. Senkaima, you're going to get stuff from here. So right here, as you see, this is Tower of Forger for me. Probably because I'm still in new count. I don't really know. Maybe Tower of Forger is the one that's out right now. No, because we got Warrior, uh, the Warrior's Path too. So I'm guessing it's based off of what I want to do. I'm not really sure about that. How Sakaima works on rotation wise. Right now, these are the ones you get. So each one of these I do, I'm getting rewards for. If I want to go up to stage nine and get those 50 orbs, that's cool. I can then I can switch over to this one. Go up to nine, 
get those 50 orbs. Switch over this one. Go up to nine, get those 50 orbs. And just keep going like that. If all I wanted was those 50 orbs, I can go that far and then do the rest later at another time. But you also got Scream and you got um, Special. So these all will give you different awards. So they're going to be worth doing eventually. But some of these you might not. Like they have rules to them. So you got to kind of pay attention. But those are going to be worth doing, guys. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to be leveling your characters, guys. So let's go in here and find one of our characters we haven't leveled yet. And we're going to level them up. So let's sort them no, all. No, we want five stars. Five stars, six stars. So let's do Ascendant. We'll be sending. So everybody right here, I haven't leveled up all the way yet. So let's pick, um, we got a new character here, didn't we? Let's do Lily and Annette. So we're gonna do Lily and Annette here. We're gonna be leveling her up. And I'm gonna show you me getting the orbs when I finish leveling her. Cause right now I think I'm, I might be out of crystals, but we'll see. Actually, I'm starting to leave some of this on video. So right here, Lily and Annette augment. We made it just made this easier now. You can power up here, hit a level up right there, or ascend there, and hit soul tree. So you want to do all of these anyway. But the ascension is going to be your augment, augmenting, which is going to give you these books. It's going to give you more levels. So let's do that. What I do is I use the multi select four star. It's going to be level all. They didn't want your badges only because you only want the people who got badges. Badges mean they have been leveled up before. And I do all of that. But I only do four stars. Mostly because my five stars are going to be mostly bad for dupes. So this is going to get her leveled. There we go. Really in that 50 orbs for her. But we now, I think she might be resurrected. Let's make sure though. I'm gonna evolve her here. That's gonna reset her and we need to do it again, basically. So, I'm not sure if we're gonna get orbs for this one, but we probably will. Let's go ahead and do it again. And if I ran out of stuff, we'll do that as we go. Let's see, multi, select. We don't have enough for that, so we're gonna have to go get some some um, pawns real quick. All right, we're back. Yukio is now. I mean, excuse me. Let Lynette is now <laughs> augmented, and we're gonna go straight into power and up again. I want that leveled up? Oh, we just got barely enough crystals to not finish leveling her. So when stuff like that happens, you run you a couple levels and. Make sure you got your uh, XP turned on and just finish the level off like that. Matter of fact, run Combs Quest, Combs to Nouns of Party, and finish your XP off while getting more crystals, just in case. But, I gotta show you guys the orbs coming in, so I'm gonna be back. I ran a quest and got some, orbs, got some uh, more crystals there. To finish her off. Orbs right there. Bam. That's her orbs. That's her, her first orb tonight right there. Because I'm guessing she's going to be... No, is she not resurrected? Let's make sure she's not resurrected. She might be resurrected. But we'll see us when we ever get her. But if we do resurrect her, it'll just start over. You have to level up all over again. And you get the same amount, 75 orbs again for leveling her up. But guys, that is how you get orbs right there. We got 100 orbs. Well, we didn't get 100 orbs. We built up to 100 orbs while doing this. Anyway, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. If this helps you get some orbs so that you can be ready for your, the next banner, you know it's going to be another um, Thousand Year Blood War banner that comes out that you're going to be going to pull on. If you're new to this game and you haven't got those characters, those are going to be the strongest characters, Thousand Year Blood War characters. Not to mention the Quincy's that are going to be coming out uh, in the future or any other Thousand Year Blood War characters that are going to be coming out in the future. They're going to be some of the strongest characters in the game. But 
anyway, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.